welcome to another episode. So I'm not sure if you're keeping up with the videos, but today is the day that I install a brand new tire because last week I had a track day event, needs a new rear. That's going to eight ball tire now. And on top of that, we're gonna to go to my guy and he's gonna install the Rizola mirrors as well as the CRT exhaust from Motivation USA. So join me for the ride. This should be pretty fun. Good, good. Uh, just dropping off a tire. I should be back with the bike probably within the hour. Three hours later. The destination is on your right. 2063 Grand Avenue. What's up, bro? What's up, dude? Here's the good stuff. Yeah, this is the Rizola mirrors. Are these back on? No, we're not putting these back on, but this bracket's going to go back on. Do you got yeah. the screws? These are the screws that you're going to use. And then this is just a slip on. It's really simple. A few moments later. Almost that eight ball tire where I get to swap out my rear tire for a brand new one because there's a track day event this Friday and I can't wait. It's gonna be at Chuck Walla. And I'm sure by now you've watched my previous track day event uh, that I did in Auto Club Speedway, which was uh, phenomenal. I think we made it in time. Exactly two o'clock on the dot. And I hope they're gonna install this right away for me because my next appointment is to install the exhaust and the Rizoma mirrors. And then uh, this track day event, you guys get to hear how it sounds. Exciting stuff. You guys gonna be able to do it right now? Yeah. Awesome, man. Uh, I think it's already in there. Can you check? Yeah, yeah, that's right. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, there we go. Brand new tire. Now we're going to be heading to the shop to get uh, the SE Project CRT exhaust installed as well as the Rizal mirrors. <laughs> mm. In case you're curious to find out, the bike has 1,600, a little over 1,640 miles on it. I had no idea. <laughs> I don't consider them miles, I consider them smiles. That's a lot of fun installing new parts on the bike, showing them off to you guys, creating fun videos. I should be getting a new bike every six months. <laughs> that would be ideal, but not for my pockets. I love how they tell you to take it easy on the first 100 miles and they make you sign a piece of paper. I'm, I'm not gonna go too fast, blah, 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 but I got a track day event this Friday, so this is the last time I ride the bike. And the next time it's going to see it's 100 miles is going to be on a track day event where I'm going to be hauling ass. Unfortunately, I got some bad news. My Aprilia RSV4 that I picked up a couple of months ago is completely dead. <laughs> as far as breaking in your tires are concerned, I think that's just a myth. These Super Corsa type tires that are built for the track and for performance, they don't need the 100 miles of braking or whatever. You're actually wasting your tires if you break them in that long. And the same thing with braking in the engine. You don't need to do all that stuff. All these new bikes are, are built out of the showroom floor to be taken and ridden around a racetrack as fast as humanly possible. All this stuff is made for liability reasons. Oh, you gotta ride the bike for 100 miles before you do anything crazy with the tires and uh, you gotta get the first oil change before you can go past a certain amount of RPM. It's all for liability purposes and to protect the companies. That's all this is, folks. Woo! God damn, I keep forgetting how fast this bike is. For the street, this bike is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Before you know it, doing triple digits just coming out of a corner. Holy shit, 100 miles an hour, just like that, with a slight twist of a wrist. <laughs> Daily 100s for days, not even trying. This bike sounds like an absolute animal. And I'm really, really, really anxious to find out what this thing is going to sound like with the CRT exhaust. And I'm sure a lot of you are curious as well. 
because that's the most popular exhaust at the current moment for the RSC4. Every other YouTube video you watch about exhaust for the RSC4, it's a CRT. Wide open moto. Today we got his RSV. We're going to be installing some Rizoma mirrors and an SC Project CRT exhaust, all from Motivation. Uh, so shout out to Motivation for sending William the parts, and we're going to install them here today. In the box, we got our two mirrors, just two screws on the new one and a few screws on the old one. So we're going to get going and start taking everything apart here. So we'll start over here on the right hand side of the bike. So we've got one, two, and it looks like three screws, one tucked in back there. These are gonna be two and a half millimeters. So I'm just gonna use a little Allen here. And so we'll start pulling them out one by one. So that's one, careful, they're really small screws so you don't wanna lose them. They're not cheap on this bike. Nope. We've got all three screws out. We're checking the computer here to see if we have any error codes for the lights being disconnected. All right, so no error codes, that's pretty good. So we're gonna pull this inside cover off. So we're gonna move the wire out of the way here so we can get to the back bolt. Just about off here. There we go. And we'll pull the mirror out. So that's it. 17.1 ounce. All right, let's put the Rizoma mirror on. And we'll weigh the new mirror. Sweet. So 11 ounce savings, that's awesome. Every ounce counts. I'm gonna start them by hand here, at least the front one, just to hold the mirror so it doesn't fall off. So I'm able to just put it in there. Now we can come back in and we can just tighten everything up. It also, again, is a 10 millimeter socket. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll start with the, the one that's easy to access. You still didn't want me to hold it? No. And we'll just tighten that up. And Mirrors in, frontmost bolt's a little bit hard to get to with the plastic piece on. If you wanted to make it a little easier for yourself, there's one extra screw right here that you can remove and then one screw underneath this plastic piece um, that you could remove to make it a little easier. But we were able to do it by leaving the plastic piece on. So we're gonna move to the other side here and we're gonna just repeat the same process. We've already unplugged uh, the turn signal on the mirror and we're gonna take out one, two, and three screws. So we'll pull those out really quick and then we're gonna do the exact same process of removing the old one. So we got both of them out and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw the new one in. You can see these have lock nuts on there. So make sure that they stay on there and don't back themselves off, even as opposed to the stock ones, which don't have them. Definitely quality parts for sure. So we got both of the mirrors on here. They're super sleek. All you gotta do to get them so you can see them is just flip them up like that. It literally probably only took 20, maybe 30 minutes max to install both of them. So now we're gonna do the SC Project CRT slip-on muffler. And this thing literally weighs nothing. It is so light, you can barely feel it in your hands. I think it's about 2.1, you wanna weigh it? Yeah, let's, let's go over the scale, we can weigh it. 28.54 ounces. And if we do pounds, 1.7 pounds. Wow, that's incredible. To remove the old one is we're gonna remove the exhaust clamp. On this one, we also have uh, two bolts right here. It looks like four millimeters, and then I believe six millimeters to remove the bracket where the new bracket's gonna go behind. So we'll just start by pulling the old one off here. Two. So we should just be able to just slide it on out of here. This one's gonna come apart in two pieces. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off the two bolts for the rear set and the bracket is actually gonna sit behind there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove it here. So we're just gonna do just a small amount of Loctite on each of these. So there's one and two. So next, we're gonna take our bracket, we're gonna line it up behind, and we're gonna lightly thread in one of the bolts here. All right, so that one's started, and we'll go down to the bottom one here. All right, so now that they're both lightly threaded on there, 
So that's how you get the bracket on there. Carefully, we're gonna slide it down and rotate it up. And we'll also take a little bit of Loctite here on the exhaust mounting bolt so that it doesn't fall off. So now that we've got it started by hand, so we're gonna go and tighten our exhaust clamp here. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna reattach the rear brake master cylinder. Careful that the push rod doesn't come out. What we're gonna do is he had his rear passenger pegs right here. We're gonna take the metal bracket right here. So we'll take these two screws out, but we're gonna reuse the ones that were already in there. So that way we have enough length to catch the rear master. And as you can see, this was a very, very simple swap. This took us no more than 15 minutes to do. Um, so it's really, really quick, really easy. Everything's accessible. I'm sure this exhaust is gonna sound really, really good. All right, guys, the moment of truth, the SE Project CRT exhaust is installed. And so are the Rizoma mirrors. One thing I am afraid of is when I turn the bike on, I'm gonna get some kind of a alarm because now the mirrors don't have anything that are plugged into. So it's on neutral. We're gonna turn it on for the first time right now. This thing is ferocious now. <laughs> Golly! All right, I gotta get used to these mirrors now. The mirrors are slightly difficult to see out of, but I think it's gonna take some getting used to. But let's not forget, they're more for vanity than for function. But my God, this exhaust, woof. Jeez, it is way louder than the other one. Woo! This thing is an animal now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Good news is I'm not getting any kind of error messages because of the mirrors. Overall, I'm very happy. Oh, the mirrors are not that bad actually. Now I can see out of them a little bit. Whichever direction I'm going, I'm still going to do a head check for sure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You gotta hear this thing in person. The video is not gonna justify this, my friends. It is not gonna justify how loud this thing is and how raunchy this thing sounds. <laughs> this is triple X right here, my boys. This is porn. <laughs> it's Italian porn, that's what it is. And in the process, I lost so much weight. I think about 22 ounces off of the mirrors. And then I lost an additional 12 or so pounds from the exhaust. I gotta go back and calculate everything. So in this video, I'll have everything for you guys. So now the CRT exhaust is installed. The Rizoma mirrors are installed. What else is left? Next comes carbon fiber. Yes, we got loads and loads of carbon fiber. Front mudguard, rear mudguard. We got uh, the, the chain thing. Like there's carbon everywhere, my friends. So next is carbon, and then on top of that, we got two other exhausts that we need to install. And I, I'm not sure if there's anything else remaining, but, but who knows, maybe by that time we'll get some new toys. And I'm gonna be making some pure sound videos for you guys, raw sound videos, you name it. And then after all that's complete, we're gonna compare all the exhausts, because I have two more exhausts for you guys.